Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing a tutorial on the Liquify tool in After Effects. I've used this on some dark ray gifs I've made on Tumblr, which I will put right here. And yeah, I've had a couple people ask me about it, so today I'm gonna be showing you how you can do it too. Let's go into After Effects. All right, friends, you know the drill. First things first, we're gonna make a new project. We're gonna call, oh, and also a new composition. Let's call this Liquify. I'm gonna keep it at 30 seconds, just for now. Again, we'll trim it later. And we're gonna import our clip, which I have a clip from The Force Awakens, which I have not cropped yet, but I will do so once we drag it into the timeline. So we'll line that up. The clip I wanna use right here. So let me trim our work area here, zoom in, make sure we've got this lined up properly, which I think we do, and then the usual, trimming this to our work area so that our composition isn't too long. Okay, I'm also going to rescale this and make it a new uh, like com composite layer. Again, I mentioned this in our last tutorial. After you've um, after you renamed your pre-composite clip, make sure you check move all attributes into the new composition and adjust it so that it will be the same length. Okay, so here's our clip. Now, what we're going to do, as you may have guessed, search up the Liquify tool, which it should be under Distort if you don't want to search for it. Gonna drag it onto our clip. So let's start with a couple of tips that I want to talk about doing liquify on clips. It's easiest if you find a clip that has some kind of uh, movement that will work well with the liquify, like whatever you're gonna do. Like for example, in this ray manic that I've done in the actual clip in the trailer that I got this from, she closes her mouth and kind of purses her lips. So I saw that and I knew that a smile would work really well right there. A small smile, like a smirk, because she's already kind of pursing her lips there. So if I were to use that smile, like liquify distortion, it wouldn't look too unnatural. Yeah, another thing, I feel like small movements work best. So I don't think you can use this to do some really insane stuff because it'll just look really obviously distorted. Just keep those things in mind. Go back in our timeline. Here we have our liquify effect up in the panel over here and our clip is down here. So normally I'm using the liquify tool after I've already edited a clip of Ray to be like Sith Ray. Like I've, this is usually after I've done a ton of uh, Sith eye edits, which you can see in my last tutorial. Um, but now I'm going to use the liquify tool. And here Ray starts with her mouth open and then she closes her mouth. So I think I'm gonna try a smirk here as well. Like at this point, cause that seems to be where her mouth purses out furthest. So I'm gonna add a marker with shift eight. Actually, you can do any number. Let's do shift one, that'll be our first marker. So that's where I know I wanna use the liquify effect at its strongest. That's where I want her to smile. So actually we can go right in and do that. I'm gonna take the liquify tool, which the tool we want specifically is this first one. It's this hand that's like pointed, whatever. So we're gonna use that, which I think it's already selected. Here's our brush size, and I think you can actually change that. If you press Command, hold that down, and then move your, press down on like your mouse pad and move your cursor, you should be able to change the size. So I'm not really sure where else we would change that. Then I'm also gonna zoom in on our clip just so we can see this better. So I know that at this point, I want the mouth to kind of be out and smiling. I'm gonna make this brush size a little smaller. So I'm gonna pull this out. You do this right on the clip. I like how that side looks. I like how that looks too. And when you smile, generally your lips kind of flatten out on the edges, like they also get pulled out. So I'm gonna pull those up a little bit. I 
think I like how that looks. So the whole key to this mainly is that you're going to be using keyframes to change this liquify effect from 0% to 100%. We want it at 100% here where we have our keyframe, obviously. So what you're going to do, press this little drop down arrow, go into effects, liquify, and then distortion percentage. That's what we want to look at. So it's at 100% right now, which is what we want because we're at our marker. So we'll press a keyframe for that, which is this little clock looking thing, stopwatch. Press that, you'll get a keyframe. It's this little diamond shape you see right here. Then we're gonna bring that down to zero. Right, we'll go right where she, we're gonna go like here because she hasn't closed her mouth yet, but we want that all the way down to zero. So that's gonna go from there to here. Actually, I'm going to bring that key point to when she closes her mouth because this will be a fast transition. And I want this to fade out kind of slowly, so I'm going to set this back down to zero. I think what else I'm going to do, when she smiles, I'm going to drag another liquify layer onto this and I'm going to make her eyebrows kind of angry eyebrows. Yeah, I think that looks good. So, liquify two, open it up distortion percentage. I want that to start that way. And then when we get like here, I want it to be zero. I'm going to close all this and let's just take a look at it. I think that looks pretty good from what I'm seeing so far. It's still rendering. Hmm. Okay, I notice her mouth twitches. So there, right there. She twitches again, and I think it fades out too quickly. So I'm gonna actually make the first smile liquify effect last at 100% a little bit longer. Like I'm gonna keep it here, 100% again. And then this fade out will take longer. Okay, let's just see how that looks. Hmm. Something about break before it starts looks a little weird. Maybe I'm gonna try moving the first keyframe while her mouth is still open. Cool. I like how that looks. I think if we wanted to make it more extreme, we could make our eyebrows a little bit angrier. Subtle changes, but they're still a lot different than what we had at first. Let me hop into Final Cut Pro, show you both side by side. Let's zoom in a little bit closer so it's easier to see. Alright, let's view this again. Cool, I think it looks good. So again, angry eyebrows here, no angry eyebrows there. And we get this smile versus this. And it lasts a little bit longer and then it stops there. So I think it turned out pretty good. All right, so that was today's tutorial. Uh, I hope this helped you figure out how I use the liquify tool to manipulate video footage and character edits and whatnot that I post on my Tumblr and YouTube. Uh, hopefully it's simple enough to understand. If not, please leave me any questions you have and I'm looking forward to the next tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.